Hey everybody, y'all probably know it's RV season and I do a lot of RV repair and we've recently got one that needed a new rectifier in it so um, if you've got questions about your RV power converter, now this is not an inverter, a lot of people will call them inverters, they're not, they convert down. So what they have in them is a very large transformer and a circuitry um, that is made to charge, and you can see up in there, but it's made to charge batteries as well as produce 30 amps, this one is, yours might be a 45 or 50 or uh, about as high as they get a 55 but this might be in that uh, category some of them are 20 amp like for a little camper or something this one here is was for a 24 foot trailer so um, you might say uh, is my unit bad because you're getting bad voltage readings now over here would be the battery link and here's its fuse so it comes power here goes over and goes down and you might be thinking because you're getting this really odd reading and I'll show you here that's showing only seven volts and you're thinking oh hell my battery charger part of this is bad now this also just goes straight to your battery and feeds power back to your circuits right there when you're not plugged in in this one's case um, it needed a rectifier, so we replaced the rectifier in it, but I'm going to show you that when you read that voltage right there and you get an unrealistic voltage and you're, it doesn't make any sense, I'm going to show you that, that if it's zero voltage, it's bad. If it's showing four or more volts, it's actually good, but it's waiting on you to be connected to a battery, okay? Now, right now I have this hooked up. The battery has got... Uh, 12 and a half 12.7 volts in it and this is that battery if you look at some of my other videos that I restored um, this battery is about 12 year old 15 year old I don't know it's 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 an old battery I think it's a 15 year old battery and you can look at my other video on how I restored that when you go look back on that and you'll see here now I'm not connected to anything the wire for that is hanging right over there so we're hooked up I've got a multimeter on it right there showing 12.82 volts and we're going to hit it with a load. Now, these items, if I use this, and this here is going to really, you're really going to want one of these. It's a Unity. And I will put a link where to get this thing. It's for DC and AC amps. It's not like, um, it's not like one of these. It's only good for AC amperage. So you will have nothing that you'll get out of this thing for DC amperage. Um, but you want to learn how to work with DC amperage because testing these items and knowing whether or not it works good is important. Now, with the rectifier bad, this still produced the voltage, but it produced no effective charge. In other words, right now it's sitting there charging nothing. Just whatever it's sensing static-wise out of the wire, see nothing, points. So, um, the wire itself just has resistance. So, now I'm going to show you this. I'm going to hook it up to the battery. See it immediately jump up to 5 amps and come on back down as the voltage increases over here to charge rate. And it's going to hit where the battery rests at and then go up. So now, once again, I'll disconnect it. Wire's loose. And we're going to go ahead and hook this wire up. And I'm going to pause and hook the wire up because I don't want to arc nothing. And then I'm going to show you with a drawdown how you're going to prove how well your charger actually does work so you want to be able to use this to draw that battery down hard and then you're going to see the response of your your converter charger and how it handles it now a 30 amp converter charger should charge your batteries not at 30 amps but at 7 to 15 amps mostly a 30 amp will charge at about 6 to 8 amps that's all you want otherwise you're going to boil your batteries and you probably know what that's all about so um, the second thing is is when you're dealing with RV batteries Guys, people always check your water the whole time you're using these. Make sure it don't drop because that's how they get cooked. That's how RV fires happen. And that's how you'll see the melted tops or posts of these batteries is from that constant never ending eight amp charge that don't ever go away. Or in some cases, if you have a 45 amp, you probably got 20 amps going into it, two or three batteries. You will eat a battery, don't do that. So um, this little unit right here is going to put a load on the battery 
that's going to be hooked to here. So let me pause and we'll get that hooked up. All right, now we're hooked up. I've got it clamped on there just for making sure it'll get the amperage through. And right now we are trickle charging. That's all we're doing. And you can see the numbers are kind of jittering around a little bit. That's just because the electrolyte in the battery is responding. So you're at slowly dropping. It'll eventually drop to about a quarter of an amp. Now, here is the voltage in the battery right now. It's going to hit about 14.1 and then it's going to just basically sit. And that's the way they're supposed to do. If they're sitting anything higher than that, you've got problems. Your converter's bad or your rectifier's fused inside. So, um, I'm going to show you the load. And you can see the current voltage right there. See the needle? It's at about 13.8. And we're going to drop put a big load on it. And I'm going to show you how the amps go up. Okay? So, there's the load. You're going to watch these amps right over here. Up they go. And you're going to hold this and see when it starts to slow down that's about your peak so in my case my peak was 8.3 charging amps this one right here is rated at eight charging amps so that's exactly now what it's supposed to do now some of them if your rectifier is bad it could literally spike to 40 amps and i've seen it happen takes the whole load out of here and just dumps it all on the battery in this case, it worked perfect, rectifier is fine, and now you'll see here the amps will slowly start going down as the battery starts to absorb more, and the unit will keep answering with little spikes. You see those little spikes right there? And right now we are at 12.68, 12.7, and the battery is being brought back up. See how well that works? And you watch over here, as you noted, and you see how that does that little jump back and forth that's basically the unit checking with the battery constantly to see where it needs to be it's an automatic charger most all of these are automatic and it has a sensor circuit in it that will kind of switch on and off to determine when it needs that extra power so now we're coming back up 13.4 volts now replacing the rectifier in these is pretty straightforward the rectifier is a little cube rectifier and you'll see if it's plastic is separated from its metal casing it's bad pretty obvious or if you smell something that smells like hair burning literally that is the smell of the rectifier failing disconnect take it out get the number off the rectifier when you take it out on the heat sink flip it over the numbers are always pretty clear on them they're usually stamped on them and you can order that through Amazon or something like that but I'm gonna put the link for this and put the link for that and you've seen how I just did it in the video to test it and verify what we've got and the easy fix is easy and taking this apart and showing you a video on that because everybody's is different it wouldn't do you a lot of good however showing you how to test it whether it's good or bad that's the best thing you got going so there's that old battery I restored there's the load for it and there is the perfect ac and dc meter works like a champ all right guys you see all of this it's what i do on a regular basis this is what you need to keep your rv in good shape and fix things like that